Okay, so here is a brand new Blazor app that I just created. And what I want to do is show the basics of using uh, Chris Sainty's Blazor modal NuGet package to create really nice modals in Blazor server apps. I, I know it works for Blazor WebAssembly as well, but in this case, I'm doing it for Blazor server. Uh, Chris on his page here has lots of information and whoops I guess I moved to the there we go um, has lots of information about how to set this up and I'm going to be basically going over a lot of very very same stuff he has on his page so this is the source okay so the first thing I want to do is install that NuGet package Okay, I think I'm good. All right, so next there is some setup that I need to do. So um, let's see, first thing I wanna do is go to the startup file and add a couple of things there. So I am adding a using statement for the Blazard modal um, package that I just installed. So right there, whoops, not at using, just using. And secondly, down in services, right down here, I want to add services dot add blazard modal. The next thing I want to do is go to my imports dot razor file and add a couple of using statements there. That way I won't have to put them in each individual page. There we go, these two guys. I'm just pasting to make this go quicker. I'll include this code in a uh, Google Doc uh, on this uh, video description and of course it's also in the documentation but anyway um, so the next thing I want to do is go into the app.razor file um, which right there and you're ra I'm wrapping this router um, tag with this tag that I'm about to paste in here cascading blazard modal and this is how it gets cascaded down through the app I believe it used to be a service that was injected but with a later version of that Chris changed it to this method for getting it down into your see I'm getting that red as because I haven't saved the other items there we go okay almost done with setup here uh, I just need to go into um, my host file and add a couple of items. So in the head area, I'm adding this right here. And then in the down near the bottom of the file, I'm adding a script tag like this. There we go. Save that. I think I can close these guys now. Okay. And all right. Now that's that's it for setup. Now I'm ready to build my modal and then call it. So I'll tell you what I want to do here. I'm going to uh, actually. I go ahead and start up this app 
and I'm sure most of the people watching this video are familiar with what the out-of-the-box Blazor app looks like um, and and how it works uh, this it has this counter feature on it just as a demo and I'm going to use that so I'm gonna set this up I'm gonna set the the modal up much like you would a modal where you say like if someone tries to exit and you say are you sure you want to exit and they, they confirm or are you sure you want to take this action confirm so I'm gonna do it with this so under on this counter page I'm gonna make it so when you click this see it normally just increments that counter it's going to say uh, are you sure you want to increment this and then if you say yes it'll increment it. if you say no it won't so uh, let me close this and the first thing I want to do is actually create that modal so uh, it's just a um, a page so it's a um, razor component page and I am going to call this confirm confirm information dialog that's good enough I, dialog seems more familiar to me than modal so I use that word so confirmation dialog add that and then um, you'll see in a minute that the um, the text on the top of the modal actually gets passed in by the page that's calling the modal so I don't actually need any heading at all on this that's going to be provided what I do need is a couple of buttons on here and then the code to run those buttons and that's that's really all I'm adding I did do a a dialogue for a app I built recently that had a bunch of fields on it and and I was able to put those in in here and I actually used global variables to to move that data around but anyway that's beyond this this video I'm just showing the basics here um, so I am gonna actually go ahead and paste this code in um, just to save time and again I'll throw this in the in the uh, video description area so here's my, here these are my button my buttons uh, I have go back and okay continue and you'll see that each button is calling a function which I have not put in there yet so let me do that um, okay quick, quickly before I throw that code in I do want to say that we need to put this um, this cascading parameter in there so this is gonna show that we're using this within this page um, and this is the blazard modal instance and then you'll see on the calling page it's slightly different but this is what we need to put on this page and then let me paste my functions in there they're very simple and I will explain what they're doing so um, so we I find this slightly confusing the way this is but there's close async and there's cancel async in order to um, close the the modal and um, close async closes the modal with sort of a positive result saying hey this was closed because we're done with it and we want to this was a positive outcome we want to do something um, cancel async simply closes the the modal without uh, any further action so um, and, and you'll see that in a minute when I get to the next thing but so my buttons quite understandably call so we have go back um, calls the go back method which cancels the async and that's equivalent to um, like hitting the X or closing the modal in any way and I'll, let me actually add my comment here so close async I have these comments there we go and then we have cancel async there we go there we go okay can't see the whole thing but you get the idea um, all right so I'm gonna save this that's it for my modal my modal's ready to go now I'm gonna go into um, my counter page and add what needs to be added here so um, all right so the cascading parameter that I enter here is a little different as I said from the last page whoops did I not do that right I guess I didn't hang on there we go 
there we go. So it's the iModal service, and um, and I've created a function, and, and I'm going to go ahead and just type this in rather than paste it because I kind of want to explain as I go. So um, I'll just put it down below here. Um, so we're going to create this task. It's an async. Async task. I'm going to call it show modal. Alright, and what's about to happen here is I'm going to call, instead of this button here currently is calling their increment count function directly, I'm going to replace this, I'll do it right now, with show modal. And then um, if yes is clicked, then the modal will then call the increment, then we'll call the increment count function. If cancel is clicked, then we won't do anything. So, okay, here's the show modal function. We're going to start with um, sort of naming the modal. We'll name it confirm modal. You name it whatever you want. And then modal from up here dot show. Yes, there it is dot show. And right here is where we, act, we put in the name of our Blazor component that's the modal. So in this case, that's confirmation dialog dot razor. So there it is, confirmation dialog. And uh, in here, in parentheses, we put whatever we want the dialog to say. So I'm going to say increment count by one question mark. And there. Okay. So that's going to pop up the modal, that line of code. And then the next thing we want to do is await the result of that modal. So we do var, and then we name this. I'll name it modal results. Name it whatever you want. Equals await confirm modal from above there dot result. So we're awaiting that result. And if that result, whoops, if that result is canceled, so really you, you just get, is it canceled or not canceled are your choices really. So, um, so I'm going to do is if canceled is false. So, um, so if the modal is not canceled, that, then take the action. So, okay. Um, oops, goofed that up, didn't I? This goes up here. Okay. Oops. All right. So if if the modal result isn't canceled, then what do we want to do? We want to increment the count. And if it is canceled, then we're doing nothing. So really, that's it. Now let's let's test this thing and see how it works. It is counter counter click me increment count by one now nah, go back let's see try it again increment count by one okay there it is Increment count by two three and you can also close the dialogue by clicking outside of it and I also like how it creates the shading effect it's a pretty powerful tool anyway thanks